Breaking, Obama's friend exposes real reason she had to cut him out of her life. Now that Barack Obama is out of office, more information is coming out about who he really is. A telling new biography gives accounts from his closest relationships that shine a light on his dark convictions. In David J. Garrow's Obama biography Rising Star, he interviews ex-Obama girlfriend Sheila Mushi Jager, who reveals that she broke up with the former president for his refusal to condemn black anti-Semitism, via Politico. This is a bombshell revelation, though it comes as no surprise to those of us who have long seen Obama for the con man he is. Obama is a lifelong Muslim sympathizer who despises Israel for challenging Islam in the Middle East. Jager told Garrow that her relationship with Obama deteriorated quickly when he remained firm in his support of then-black Chicago mayoral aide Steve Gokli a vocal anti-Semite. These weren't dog whistles like the accusations the lefty typically makes in race-baiting smears against Republicans. Coakley was upfront in his disgusting assaults on Jews. Even the media of the day was critical of him. Coakley preached the belief that Jews run a world conspiracy to take over the world. He also made the outlandish and incredibly racist claim that Jewish doctors are responsible for AIDS by injecting black patients with the disease. Anyone in their right mind would be immediately put off by such a raging psychotic. Smart people would do their best to distance themselves from any association with this deranged hater of Jews. But not very Obama. Obama wouldn't budge in his affinity for the bigot Gokli. Eventually, Sheila Jager had to pull the plug on her relationship with the young community organizer. She had good reasons for doing so. Jager's father, Brent Jager, grew up in the Netherlands during World War II. As a boy, he witnessed the appalling treatment of Jews at the hands of German soldiers, those images forever etched in his memory. As an adult, Jager became a conservative Republican. As soon as he met his daughter's boyfriend, he knew the ambitious leftist was no good. This wouldn't be the last time Obama sided with anti-Semites. One of his closest mentors, the infamous Chicago preacher Jeremiah Wright, was known for his offensive remarks against Jews. Obama, who always preached against racism, seems to have no qualms about fomenting racism when it's against Jewish people. What a hypocrite. It's sad. More Jews are Democrats than Republicans. But the Democrat Party has no interest in protecting Jews. They would gladly let Muslim terrorists destroy the state of Israel if patriots like Trump didn't stand in their way. At the end of the day, Democrats don't care about minorities. They use them as pawns. Obama's close relationships with these anti-Semites are telling of his real feelings for Jews. Thank goodness his presidency is done. Good riddance, good riddance.